It's story time, guys. Today we'll be hearing the story of how a robot is born. I thought the stork brought them. No, the FedEx guy brings a kit of parts. Settle down, children. Actually, teams make robots, and it takes a lot of work to even start a team. Once upon a time, there was an FRC team called the Pink Team. There were very few teams in their area, and the Lonely Team needed alliance partners. Oh. But first they needed to get support, so they found a school and a teacher who were willing to help. Then they got parents and other members of the community to lend support. I thought first teams had students. Of course. Now Dave, put the banana away. Oh, sorry. The pink team took their robot to the new team schools. They soon got students interested in the program by showing off their robot. Don't robots cost a lot? Duh, that's what NASA's for. Not every team has access to NASA, Dave. The pink team had to find other people who were willing to give money to the new team. Creative fundraising was also important. They don't know nothing about building no robots! The pink team helped with everything. From designs, to making parts, from scouting, to anything else a new team would need. Can we do robotics? Only big kids can build big robots, but you guys can be on a Lego big team. And that is how the Pink Team passes on the spirit of gracious professionalism to kids like you. Now let's go build a robot! Yay! Yay!